Hi guys, welcome back to Chess the Matthew. So on this video, we will tackle about the game between Nijet Abasu versus Fabiano Caruana on the FIDE World Cup 2023. So here, Abasu plays as white and start with the move of d4. And Caruana here start with the moves of net f6. And their opening battlefield goes for a Catalan open classical line after net f3, d5, c4, e6, g3, bishop e7, bishop g2, king side castling, and king side castling. So here after the white castle on the king side, the black here tries to grab a pawn on the c4 after d takes c4 and here Abbasso plays queen to c2 trying to regain his pawn deficit but Caruana here just played the move a6 instead of playing b5 to defend it because after a4 bishop d7 and queen takes c4 and bishop c6 although the white here regained his pawn deficit but we shall see in this position now that the black here already put his pieces into an active square unlike for example on this position where the white here should cope up with the piece development and here Abbasub here tries now to develop his pieces by playing bishop to g5 and after knight bd7 knight c3 and here we shall see in this position now that the white here already connects his rooks but Fabiano Caruana here simply play at 6 trying to attack the dark bishop of white and after bishop f4 and bishop d6 Abbasub here plays an aggressive move by playing his queen to d3 allowing his f pawn to be doubled after Caruana captured the bishop on f4 and after g takes f4 we shall see in this position now that Abbasub here has a doubled pawn on f file but it allows here for white to have an open g file that can easily target the black's king now after this rook will be placed on the open file for example while well, the white king here should play king h1 to allow that idea so here Caruana just play the move a5 trying to stop any further advancement on the queen side and later on trying to focus a defense on the king side after this position where the white here has an open g file so after king h1 going with Abbasub ideas and after bishop takes f3 for Caruana bishop takes f3 c6 putting his pawns on the light square because of the absent of light square bishop of black and the white replace now his idea by doubling his rook on the g file to have a simple attack on the king side of black and after rook g1 king h8 e4 trying to control first the center before going with his plan and after queen e7 connecting his rooks rook g3 rook a to d8 rook a to g1 and we shall see on this position now that the white here successfully goes with his plan via attacking now the king side and we shall see in this position now that this pawn has only one defender so Caruana here should play rook g8 to defend his g7 pawn and Caruana here do that thing after rook g8 and Abbasub here tries now to crack the defense to the king side via showing away the another defender of the king side and Abbasub here play the e5 so this knight should be placed in a safe square and if for example he will play knight to d5 but it actually just abandon his uh, king side defense so Caruana here plays knight h7 to maintain the defense on the king side with his troops for example on his position while this knight has a simple defense on the f6 and g5 square but Abbasub here is not afraid to attack for example by playing queen to e3 said stepping first his queen to the d file to avoid any attacks from the rook on d8 in the future and again with the pressure for example his position to the king side for example with a threat to queen h6 after playing h5 opening some uh, diagonal for his queen and again maybe rook to h3 and tries now to crack the defense for example after bishop to e4 again 
removing the defender at the Black King on his position. And Karwani here tries to calm the situation by playing knight b6, trying to counter on the queen said. Maybe, for example, after playing knight c4, attacking the queen, and maybe to capture the pawn on the b2. But Abasov here is actually focused on his attacking team, for example, and he play bishop to e4. And it's like I said, and this bishop a4 move should not be underestimated because later on it can grab now the another defender of the black king on his position. And here Karwana actually commits a blunder, for example, after bishop to e4. Maybe he underestimate this idea of bishop to e4 and just playing the move queen to b4, trying to win this pawn on the board. For example, the queen can actually grab later on this b2 pawn without any defense of the white or maybe the black here can grab this pawn on e4 with two attackers versus one defender but this is actually a blunder because Abasov here plays the correct move for example after bishop takes h7 and after king takes h7 the black here has a strong initiative on the board going back for example on his position after Karwana here plays queen b4 this is actually a blunder and on his position Karwana here should not play queen to b4 after bishop to e4 but instead to play the move f5 to neutralize the aggressiveness of white because after it takes f6 knight takes f6 bishop f5 trying to win the pawn on e6 but there's simple knight to d5 attacking the queen and after queen takes rook g to e8 and queen takes e7 and rook takes e7 the black here timely defend his g7 pawn and although the white here has an extra pawn on the board but it is actually compensates for the material loose because the white here has a double pawn on the f file and it can be positionally counted as one pawn on the board so after bishop to f4 of abasub and a blunder move of karwana by playing queen to b4 abasub here play bishop takes at seven and be consistent to his plan on attacking the king side because after king takes at seven there is a simple move of knight to a4 again trying to reinforce some attacks on the king side because this knight can actually hop on the f6 or even knight to g5 and for example after knight f6 there is an immediate fork on the board by attacking the king and the rook so after knight to e4 Karwana here again commits a bad move after queen to e7 but on his position after knight to e4 Abasov here has a huge initiative on the board because of the fact that the king side here has a less of defense versus this large amount of attackers on the king side so after queen to e7 Abasov here simply play the move f5 and after f5 Karwana here immediately resign because he cannot continue the position to be favors or equalize for the blacks perspective because after f5 it has a huge attacking chances against the blacks king for example after knight to e4 even though the black here will play king h8 but again after f5 a simple move for the white again there's a lot of attacking ideas on the board for example with queen h6 ideas and knight f6 or even rook to uh, h3 so after for example queen takes d4 for white but again after queen takes d4 and rook takes d4 it's like i said the knight will have to f6 and this knight is untouchable because if the black here grab this knight then he will be mated in two after rook takes with a check and rook g7 checkmate or and even for example if the 
Black here will tries to save his rook, for example, by playing to uh, d8, but there is rook takes to g7 and later on with a checkmate on its 7 square. So, for example, even though the black here will try another move, for example, after e takes to f5, but it's like I said, after knight takes to g8, king takes g8, and rook takes g7, the white here has a huge material advantage and with some great attacking chances on the board. So after knight to e4 and f5, Caruana here resigned after 26 moves because the position was actually helpless for black. Even though, for example, if the black here tries to grab that pawn, but after knight f6 check with a fork, the black here should capture that knight because there is a fork. And again, if the black here will just retreat to king h8 but there is rook takes to g7 and queen takes h6 checkmate so after queen takes f6 it takes f6 g5 rook takes again with a threat to give a check or even to make a mate and after h takes rook takes g5 rook g6 rook h5 check queen g8 queen threatening to mate in one rook f8 check cover check capture queen h6 and after f4 there is queen g7 checkmate another thing for example after f5 if the black here will simply play f6 but again there's simple knight takes f6 check and after queen takes f6 e takes f6 rook d7 trying to defend his g7 but still there is pawn takes g7 h5 Rook g6, threatening to meet in 1. Capture, check. King g8, capture, capture, and check mate. Another move, for example, here for black. For example, if the blacker plays g5, but again, there is knight f6 with a check. King h8, rook takes, trying to open now the h file. Rook takes, rook takes. Queen takes to f6 because there is a mate after h takes to g5 so after e takes f6 rook takes d4 rook g7 and the checkmate here for white is actually unstoppable even though the black here will try with a check but again there is simple uh, queen takes h6 and let's try here for black if the black here tries to uh, give some response after f5. For example, if the black here tries another move with g6, but again, the knight f6 for the white is actually much stronger attack because after king g7, there is simple f takes g6, rook takes d4, queen takes h6 check, trying to sacrifice a queen because after king takes, there is simple rook h3, Rook h4, cover, rook takes, king g7, g takes f7, check, king takes f7, rook h7, check, cover, check, and checkmate on g8. So going back, for example, on this position after bishop e4 for Abasov, Karwana here should play f5 instead of playing queen b6 to equalize the position and to avoid any farther checkmate on the board or to stop any aggressive attacks on the king side of white via playing f5 because after f5 although the black here loses a pawn after it is f6 and after net is f6 bishop f5 but with the move net d5 and queen takes e6 and rook g8 even though the white here will grab the queen now, but after rook takes e7, the black here timely defend his g7 pawn. And even though the black again here loses a pawn, but this double pawn actually positionally counts as one pawn. And later on, the white here can pressure this uh, pawn by playing this rook to uh, f8 and tries to have some equality on the board.
So that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe.